For the record, Annie, you flirted with me. You made me feel like you really liked me, which was really unfair. And then you came home with me, and we did stuff, fun stuff. And then you just left. It's like it was nothing. Oh, please. That is Chris O'Dowd playing opposite Kristen Wiig in his breakout role as Officer Nathan Rhodes in the 2011 smash comedy Bridesmaids. O'Dowd already had made a name for himself in the UK, but the huge success of Bridesmaids put the Irish-born actor on the map here in America, launching him into a series of mostly comedic roles in movies, on television, and on Broadway. Now, the 38-year-old, known for using his charm and sense of humor on screen, finds himself playing a tough guy who uses his fists in the hit series Get Shorty. Chris and I got together here in New York this week for a Sunday sit-down. Miles Daly, the mobster-turned-film producer at the center of the epic series Get Shorty, is a different kind of role for Chris O'Dowd. Open this. If you don't make this movie, I'll ruin you. It is nice to play a character who can intimidate people. That's not something I get to do very often. Somebody who's more dynamic than most of the huggable rather than um, headbuttable kind of characters. <laughs> now in its second season, Get Shorty is based on the novel that inspired the 1995 film starring John Travolta and Gene Hackman. O'Dowd stars in the series alongside Ray Romano. He's, he's a little bit of a germaphobe which is fun if you have to kind of get in a kind of a scrap with them. <laughs> there was a few times this season where we're kind of in trouble together and I have to, like, cover his mouth. And uh, in rehearsal, I'm like, I'll just put my hand on your mouth. He's like, yeah, that's good. I got some Purell. <laughs> oh, At six foot four, O'Dowd certainly can play the guy you don't want to mess with. But growing up the youngest of five siblings in Boyle, Ireland, he learned to use his height for laughs. As a teenager, I was, I was a funny-looking thing, really. I was, I was six foot when I was 11, so I was a big fella, um, but not really a... It was all bone and nose. <laughs> I was mostly a bone and nose man. Is that what they called you, old bone the and old nose? Old bone and nose, no doubt. <laughs> Coming down the street like a stupid spider. <laughs> um, and so women were quite repulsed. Mm. Um, and humor is helpful in those occasions. Yes. O'Dowd first was drawn to acting in grade school, where he performed in musicals. I remember thinking even then, this is a, this is a wonderful feeling. All these other kids your own age, and everybody's nervous. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, but isn't it the best feeling in the world? In college, O'Dowd studied politics and sociology. But he couldn't shake that special feeling he got from acting. So he enrolled in the London Academy of Music and Dramatic Art. Just months shy of graduating, he dropped out and hit the London audition circuit. There's a, a rumor about you in auditions uh -huh. that you create something to help the casting director and the, and the director of the film remember you. And that is that you <laughs> pretend you've just been bitten by a dog. Is that true? It's totally true. I really? Mean, it's, I know. It's crazy. Somebody said to me, who had kind of been doing OK, they said, just leave them with something to remember you by. And he presumably meant like a great funny send-off <laughs> line. But in my head, I was like, got it. <laughs> so I would go into every audition pretending I'd just been bitten by a dog. <laughs> so I just walk into the room. So do you come in limping, or how does yeah, that so manifest you itself? Kinda, you would go in and gee, oh, Christ, do you see that? They're, what? No, they're like the Cocker Spaniel. It's, I'm, I'm all right. I don't think it's drawing. Sorry, what was the... I mean, <laughs> but I had to stop doing it because I was doing it all the time and they were like, oh, God, that's so weird. And I was like, yeah. And they said, because the last time you were here, you were hit by a dog. Oh. In 2006, one of those auditions landed O'Dowd the lead role in the British comedy series, The IT Crowd. Hello, IT. Have you tried turning it off and on again? <laughs> Four seasons later, O'Dowd left London for Los Angeles. I had just broken up with somebody who was going through a listening to Bon Iver phase mm -hmm. and um, going through an airport with my headphones on and just bawling my eyes out walk, going down a travel later. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, going to, I'm going to Hollywood alone, yes. 
Were people looking at you? Yeah, very much so. Very much so. <laughs> kind of like, oh, that's, but it's too much. You know that kind of thing where yeah. they're like, oh, you pour up, but it's too much. I don't want to like, get involved in put that. It away. Like I right. was flashing. <laughs> <laughs> I was flashing them emotionally. But O'Dowd wasn't heartbroken for long. In L.A., he met Scottish writer and television host Don Porter. They're now married with two young sons. O'Dowd found work quickly in Hollywood, playing a general in the 2010 big-budget Jack Black movie, Gulliver's Travels. But it was O'Dowd's next role a year later that propelled him and his female co-stars to stardom. So you're like the maid of dishonor. Bridesmaids was your big breakthrough role, sure. certainly here in the U.S. anyway. What was the audition like for that? Did you go in thinking, I've got a good shot at this job? No, I arrived at the audition, and they have this thing where you sign in to let the cast and judge know that you're there, which is just a basic piece of paperwork, except then it's like all of these incredible actors. And I, it suddenly just really calmed me down, because suddenly it was, oh, I've got no chance of this. So now I can just go in and have fun. At the audition, O'Dowd hit it off with Bridesmaid star Kristen Wiig. That led to a meeting with the movie's producer, Judd Apatow, and O'Dowd got the part. I was going through this kind of phase of my process where I didn't read parts of scripts that I wasn't in because I didn't want it to cloud anything I was doing. I felt like we were making a nice little movie, and then I didn't see what the girls were doing. And then when I watched it, I'm like, oh, my God, this is a riot. And I'm like, where, what do I need to go to the toilet in? <laughs> With the massive success of Bridesmaids, fans labeled O'Dowd a heartthrob, though he prefers a different title. What's the term you use? You're not a sex symbol, you're a... A spoon symbol. A meaning... <laughs> there was definitely a time when women didn't really want to, like, um, sleep with me. They just wanted to be spooned by me. <laughs> As I get older, it's more like a dessert spoon. <laughs> <laughs> sweeter and uh, kind of an odd aftertaste. After Bridesmaids, O'Dowd became an Apatow favorite with roles in movies like This Is 40 and Friends with Kids, as well as the HBO series Girls. In 2014, O'Dowd earned a Tony nomination for his turn as Lenny in Of Mice and Men on Broadway. Duncan Thompson. Tucker Crow. I'm Stevie Wonder. Just take it Real mature, honey. His latest movie role is as a professor obsessed with a washed-up rock star played by Ethan Hawke in the film Juliet Naked. This does feel like it's a Chris O'Dowd film. It's smart, it's funny, it's got oh, a good nice. tight cast. Do you think that way about your career? I'm definitely more engaged with things that I feel like I believe. I've touched on things that are like huge kind of things, and it just wasn't for me. But I'm always available. <laughs> and you can watch Chris in season two of Get Shorty Sunday nights at 9, 8 central on Epix. And his film Juliet Naked is in theaters now. Our thanks to Gelso and Grand here in New York for hosting us. To hear the hilarious story of Chris's one-time job at a charity call center and the tales he spun to drum up donations, check out our web extras at today.com slash Sunday. And don't forget to subscribe to the Sunday Sit Down podcast to hear the entire unedited interview with Chris. You can find it on Apple Podcasts or wherever you get yours. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.